Hi, I'm Michael and this is California. And starting on Monday, the California Employment Development Department, that's the ADD, has begun processing California unemployment claims as well as additional payments from President Trump's $300 extended unemployment benefits through the Lost Wages Assistance Program, that's the LWA. This after being closed for two weeks in an attempt to prevent further fraud on the California unemployment system and get caught back up with backlogged unemployment claims. So today we are talking about the California Employment Development Department getting back online and starting to send out normal UI and LWA benefits again. Some of the side effects of the two week halt of unemployment benefits and what is supposed to happen if your benefits were incorrectly cut off. Now this is your five minute daily dose. So let's make this quick. But before we do that, if you like this information, if you find it interesting, if you find it helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. That way you can get updates when our newest and most informative videos become available. Starting back in the middle of September, the governor of California, Gavin Newsom, took advice from his ad hoc task force to shut down all EDD payments for two weeks. The task force's job was to investigate the state's unemployment agency for allegations of mass fraud and people taking advantage of the antiquated system to incorrectly receive thousands of dollars in unemployment benefits. Additionally, the task force found that because of the bureaucratic backlog, nearly 600,000 Californians who had applied for benefits since early September had not not yet received their claims or had them processed. Monday, the system opened back up for business and began sending out UI and LWA benefits to more than 3 million Californians who had been put on hold because of the halt in their payments. Californians who are eligible for the extended unemployment benefits under the LWA program should expect to receive a single $600 check or possibly two separate $300 checks in addition to their normal UI benefits in order to get them caught up. With the two-week halt to payments ending, it also means that the California ED has begun accepting new claims for unemployment starting on Monday as well. The EDD has launched its new ID verification system that they will use on all new claims to try to ensure that the correct amount and duration of unemployment benefits get to the right people. Since the beginning of the pandemic, nearly 9 million Californians have filed for unemployment under the regular unemployment PUA and PUEC programs. Nearly half of these claims were initially applied for between March and May of this year when the pandemic first started. The EDD hopes that with their new system and their backlog cut down to a more manageable size, they'll be able to better process claims and ensure that Californians who are in desperate need of benefits are able to get them in a timely and secure manner. Since the beginning of the pandemic, the EDD has had a difficult time distinguishing between which unemployment claims are legitimate and which ones are not. But the agency has taken a ham-fisted approach to resolving the issue by simply closing out EDD benefit cards that they suspect may have been incorrectly sent out. This is regardless if the person is supposed to have received the benefits or not. California Assemblymember Jim Patterson this week said, quote, The EDD's technology is failing. They can't identify and stop fraud, so they're assuming that everybody is a scammer. End quote. In most cases, if somebody's EDD benefits card has been frozen, then they'll have to send documents to EDD to verify their identification before their card can be reactivated. The EDD has said that if a person's card is frozen, they should have received an email, a text message, or a paper notice notifying them immediately about how they can submit the necessary documents to verify their claim. It's good to see that the EDD is sort of taking responsibility for the mess that they've created. But the reality is that the EDD is just one of many government services that went hit with a mass influx of need, were unable to deal with it and collapsed. Up until recently, the EDD was basically processing unemployment claims with vintage Mrs. Pac-Man machines, but there's no room to shove off the blame from the EDD or those elected officials who are supposed to be ensuring our social safety nets like EDD, healthcare, and food benefits, but instead have let these duties go to oversee things like a bullet train to Las Vegas or other niceties that look great but are not necessities. I hope that this pandemic has shown that the bureaucrats and the elected officials that there is a need for constant supervision over the programs that matter most, not just the shiny new ones that get them the most attention. This has been your five minute daily dose and I hope that you found it interesting or helpful or at least useful. And if you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. That way you can get updates when our newest and most informative videos become available. Also, we here at California, we know health insurance. So if you have any questions about your health insurance, leave those down below and we'll be happy to make a new video or a new post as soon as we can. Now other than that, I'm Michael and this is California, wishing you a happy, healthy day.